Recording. Good morning. Good evening, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I come before you, O oh Lord. As, as, as the sun rises, may your hope rise up in me. As the birds sing, let your love flow out of me. As the light floods into this new day, may your joy shine through me. I come before you, Lord, and drink in this moment of peace that I may carry something of your hope, love, and joy today in my heart. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their, with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law. You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those who were trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and the Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about his about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Over the past few days, we have been reading St. Luke's version of Jesus' War to You, rebukes of the scribes, Pharisees, and the scholars of the law. Today's gospel concludes these rebukes of love by pointing out that these religious leaders did not convert. Instead, they began plotting against Jesus so as to catch him at something he might say. This is what happens when people use God's holy law as a weapon to attack. Normally, we take inspiration from the Holy Scriptures in a positive way, meaning by reflecting upon Jesus' words and actions and applying them to our lives. However, we can also learn from the evil others commit and allow their actions to inspire us to avoid their sin. In today's gospel, we are invited to ponder the obsessive plotting of these religious leaders so as to consider whether we also are guilty of their sin. In today's gospel, Jesus continues to, to chastise the Pharisees and the scholars of the law. He chastises them because they have taken away the key of knowledge and have actively tried to keep others from the knowledge God wants them to have. This is a strong accusation and reveals that the Pharisees and scholars of the law were actively hurting the faith of God's people. As we have seen over the past few days in the scriptures, Jesus rebuked the scholars of the law and the Pharisees severely for this. And his rebuke was not only for their sake, it's also for our sake, so that we know not to follow false prophets, such as these, and all who are interested only in themselves. <coughs> and their reputation rather than the truth. 
This gospel passage is not only a condemnation of this sin. More importantly, it raises a deep and beautiful concept. It's the concept of the key of knowledge. And what is the key of knowledge? The key of knowledge is faith. And faith can come only by listening to the voice of God. The key to knowledge is to let God speak to you and to reveal to you his deepest and most beautiful truths. These truths can only be received and believed through prayer and through direct communication with God. The saints are the best examples of those who have penetrated the deep mysteries of God's life. Through their life of prayer and faith, they came to know God on a profound level. Many of these great saints have left us beautiful writings and powerful witness of the hidden, but revealed mysteries of the inner life of God. <laughs> Reflecting on this upon whether or not you have taken the key of knowledge and opened the mysteries of God through your life of faith and prayer, we have to recommit ourselves to seeking God in our daily personal prayer and to seek all that he desires to reveal to us. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Mani. The, the scholars Just go ahead, the, law, the scholars of the law has knowledge, lots of knowledge, but what knowledge is for? So Jesus rebuked the, the scholars of the law for having much knowledge, but not living in accordance with that knowledge. Unfortunately, this too is a trap that easily fall that we easily fall into we know so much especially uh, by knowing our catechism our and having heard so many explanations of the gospel and we know that obeying the moral the moral law is a path to a flourishing life. We know that we are, it's called to help build Christ's kingdom. We know the happiness is not to be found in money, in pleasure, power, or popularity. And yet, do we act according to this knowledge? Do we follow the moral law? Do we dedicate ourselves to bringing people closer to Christ? Do we direct our, our, our energy towards living in communion with God? Confident that whatever else we may need will be given as well if we keep his kingdom first. So yes and no, like the scholars of the law, we profess faith in the truth God has revealed and follow them to a certain extent. But when we take an honest assessment of the authenticity of our Christian discipleship, we find an awful lot of room still to grow. So with this, we say, Lord, uh, 
by your grace, I will notice quickly whenever I start feeling defensive and respond by inquiring about the reason behind someone's statement instead of just shutting that person down. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Tito Elmer. Thank you. And good morning. Good evening. And good evening, Father. Thank you for joining. I thank you, Tita. But so nice to catch you all. I thought you were, I gonna miss you, but the Lord is always His own ways, and I call it always as God's providence. Today, perhaps my reflection would be centering on the heart of the Pharisees. For the last three days, they were denounced by the Lord, including this one. Even after the time that they're going to build the monuments of those who have okay. killed the prophets. And the Lord has really condemned them. And even after everything, they have plotted to do anything against Jesus. Why the hearts are hardened? Hearts are hardened, of course, because of the pride of the person. When a person is so proud like the Pharisees, as they felt they were always the best, they were always the most knowledgeable, even with the scholars of the law, then there is no room really for other things to enter, no room for other learning. They have felt that they are sufficient enough and no amount of encouragement, no amount of denunciation would really soften their hearts. My take is the Pharisees, the scholars of the law denounced by the Lord, but more than the scholars of the Pharisees, who at the last part of the gospel would take really time to see what they can do to plot against Jesus. You see the hardness of their heart by virtue of their pride. They went to do something against Jesus. To a man who was loved so much, to so a man who had worked miracles, to a man who was proclaiming only the good news, doing no harm for them, they have hardened their hearts because of their pride. Secondly, they are doing that one. Their hearts are hardened because of their jealousy. They have seen Jesus now with his followers. They have seen how Jesus was attracting people and people were coming to him, not to them. Yes, they were there, but people are lessened in terms of their viewing. People who perhaps not want anymore or perhaps had unmastered through colors so much that their jealousy really came into four. And jealousy could be also a murder. Jealousy could really kill a person. And if you realize what they are thinking, plotting against Jesus, it's because of their jealousy. In fact, if you realize pride and jealousy, they belong to the seven capital sins. And having seen Jesus, what he had done, and how people are going to him, how he was teaching with authority. Now they started really to reveal again their true color. They were jealous of Jesus and because they knew that they could not match the Lord. And thirdly, they have hardened their hearts because they were living in their lies, not in the truth. Jesus was the truth of the Father. Jesus was the truth of the proclamation of the gospel. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And showing the way to the Father showing clearly what it is meant to have eternal life, then the Pharisees could not simply leave that one because they are in denial. They are still living in their lives in their own way of proclaiming what they felt would be good for the people. Jesus came, they did not recognize him. Jesus came, but did not accept him. Jesus came, they rejected him. They have hardened their hearts. Tonight, the gospel invites us to look at Jesus, because when we look at Jesus and live with Jesus, our hearts are not hardened. Our pride becomes humility. Our jealousy becomes acceptance and appreciation. Our lives becomes movement towards truth. And another than we come to Jesus, the truth of our life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For teaching us the real life. For teaching us the real life. For teaching us the real life. 
to be humble. To be appreciative and grateful. To be appreciative and grateful. And to live in truth. And to live in truth. That means living with you. That means living with you. For you alone. For you alone. You alone. And to love you with all our heart. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Forgive us, O oh Lord. When in many times. In many times. The Pharisee is alive in our heart. The Pharisee is alive in our hearts. When I am proud. I am proud. When I am jealous. When I am, I am jealous. And when I'm living in lies. Mm -hmm. When I'm living in lies. Teach me, O oh Lord. Teach me, O oh Lord. To renounce these Pharisaic tendencies. To renounce these Pharisaic tendencies. And to cling only to you. And to cling, to cling only to you. The truth of the Father. The, the truth of the, the Father. Father. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother, Mother of God, Mother, Mother, pray for us sinners, sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Our, 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 our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, pray, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray, pray, pray for, for us. us. Angel of God, I got my God, dear, 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 to whom God's love commits me, me here, commits me here, ever this, ever this day, at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. 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 Saint Augustine, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Anthony, pray, pray for us. Pray Saint Hannibal, pray for us. Pray for us. Send, O Lord. Holy Apostle, Holy Apostle to your church. church. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the, the, Father, Son, and the, the Holy Son, Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good evening and good morning. Good evening, Father. Father. Thank, you so much. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you, Welcome. Thank you Father, Welcome for joining. Thank you. Yes, for... <laughs> My pleasure mm. to be with you all. My joy. Oh, we mm. oh, are so <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wala ka tapusa niya na thank you. Yeah, very incomplete kung wala ka, Father. Very, very incomplete. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're complete because you have the Lord. You have the Lord. <laughs> iba, iba kasi, iba, iba talaga. It's so much different. Much, thank, much thank you, Tita, for the affirmation. <laughs> so mm -hmm. nice. Very wow. good, very okay. good. So I'm so happy na kahabol pa ako sa inyo lahat. Yes, yeah. Yes, no, I, even if you are so busy, Father, no, you really, I don't know, you really find thank time you, no, to hahabol ka talaga, no, just to oh, well. just to join us and give us blessing. The, the prayers, beautiful yes. prayers, beautiful prayer today. Thank you for that. Uh -oh. that's, that's, this is our covenant. This prayer uh -oh. group is our covenant. Uh -oh. You, so, you were able lumakse. to dissect, <laughs> gina dissect mo ang heart ng, ng Pharisees. And, and parang, parang gina dissect mo ang heart ng Pharisees and then tinignan sa loob, full of garbage, <laughs> full of pride, full of jealousy, full, full of bad thoughts and everything. So, as, as Jesus said, diba? as Jesus said, uh -oh. You're like tombs, beautiful outside. Uh -oh. yeah. Wow. Very, very strong, mm. very strong. Mm. So, yeah. so, Father, today is the day my daughter is having the mom. So. Yes, what did I remember her? Uh, thank you, thank prayer you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, uh -huh. Padre. Is huh? Oh, matatapos na rin? What do you mean? My results na? Wala pa no, no, it's only... Ongoing pa. Ah, ongoing pa. It's no. only 8 a.m. So, uh, ah, tama. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, later. But thank you, Father. Apa. Welcome, Father. Father. Thank, 
Father, yes. sama mo ako sa prayer kasi may numbness ako ngayon at saka sakit ang ulo ko, ewan ko bakit. Upper extremity, I mean, itong arms ko, two What days na kita? lang nag-numbness. May numbness, Akala, Father. Baka na in love. <laughs> resitahan 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 mo father ano reset ano reset yes for tita that's a sure thing my prayer for we'll pray for that we will pray for you tita Bexa you will be okay ba baka na overwork ka tita as secretary ha? kasi kung sinusunod na may birthday for the mass <laughs> Pag may nakalimutan si Tita Rebecca yung may kasalanan. Siya, siya, yan. <laughs> may remind niyo ako pag may nakalimutan na remind niyo ako sa mga birthdays para may masikita si Father. Pagtulungan tayo. <laughs> yes. Ako na party you planner. Deserve. Yeah. You deserve a mask. You deserve a mask. Oh. Really, I'm an obvious Tita Beck na you're having numbness kay Guapa, mga ikaw. Kaya nga, bitaw. Tinuon niyo. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. Yeah. In Jesus' more in, name. More in love than in, yeah. in love. In love with Jesus. Oh, yes. uh, that's, oh, that's the best. That's, good. that's the yeah. best. That's the good. best. You're in love to the right person. Yes. yes. <laughs> Rightly, the right person. The right person. <laughs> yes. So do not be in love with the left person. Huh? <laughs> you mean the other right? <laughs> the, 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 the left the right. of the right. The right of the left. <laughs> the left of the right. <laughs> the left is the other right. <laughs> At times, they are the other right. But many times, they are... They are the more wrong. <laughs> thank you, Father. Thank you. Very oh, take care. Take care. All have a nice day. Thank you very much, Father. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, Father. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Bye, bye, The Pharisees were hypocrites and were often reprimanded by Jesus. Number two, they were harsh and judgmental on others for not following the laws. Yet they lived in a way that was totally opposite to what they preached and upheld as sacred in their religious rituals. Number three, ponder on your attitude at mass and the quality of your daily living at home, in the office, with those who are poor and suffering, etc. What do you sense in your heart? Amen. 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 Beautiful. Very nice. So that ends yes. our prayer meeting for today. No. And, uh, yes. Let's pray, angel of God. Yes, let's all pray to God. Uh, All together, please. Angel of God, Angel of God. my guardian, God. Dear. my guardian, dear. And dear. to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day, day. Be, be at my side, at my side. The light and light and birth, to rule and guide. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Good night. Thank Good night, you. Philippines. Good, Good morning, night. U.S. Good morning, U.S. Love you all. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless all of us. Take Bye. care.